Hi, please like and subscribe. Today's story is Olivia Claus. It was the day before Christmas. I want a robot, Ian told Olivia. But you have a robot, Olivia reminded him. But my robot wants some robot, Ian explained. What do you want from Santa? Olivia thought, I want, I want, I wish I knew. I have so many toys already. What do I need? Ian and Olivia went to her room to look at her toy box. Do you need puppets? Ian asked Olivia. No, I've got them already. Ballet shoes, he continued. But Olivia already had those in her toy box too. Something for Matilda, Ian suggested. Matilda's perfect, just the way she is, Olivia said proudly. She gazed lovingly over her bed, where the stuffed monkey Matilda always slept, and Matilda was not there. Where's Matilda? Olivia shrieked. Olivia rushed downstairs. Her mother was on the phone, but all Olivia could think about was Matilda. Mom, have you seen Matilda? Olivia asked. No, said her mother. Olivia's father was also missing something. Has anyone seen my other snowflake sock? He asked everyone. No, have you seen Matilda? Olivia asked him, but he had not. Maybe Santa could bring you a new Matilda, Ian said. I want my old Matilda, Olivia said sadly. But a new one is better, said Ian. Olivia didn't agree. Grandma gave me Matilda when I was little, she explained. I've had her my whole life. I'll help you look for her, Ian offered. They looked in the cupboard. No Matilda. They looked behind the television. No, Matilda. They looked under the couch cushions. No, Matilda. They even looked under the refrigerator. Matilda's not here, but I found an orange crayon and a teacup for my tea set, Olivia said. That was Matilda's favorite cup, she said, sighing. And the snowflake socks were my favorite, Olivia's father said. I think there must be somewhere in space where all the missing things go. He held up the Christmas stockings. Ready to hang these up? Olivia's family finished hanging the stockings and looked around for Olivia. Olivia, where are you? They called. Here we are, Olivia said. She had dressed up Perry and Edwin as Santa and a reindeer. Where's the camera? That's one for the family album, her father said. It was time to put out treats for Santa. Here are the cookies, Ian announced. Everyone puts out cookies, Olivia said. Santa will be tired of them by the time he gets to our house. Let's think of something else. How could anyone get tired of cookies, Ian wondered aloud, but Olivia had a whole new idea for Santa's menu. Cheese, crackers, and green olives. And a courgette for the reindeer, of course, Olivia explained. Before bed, everyone played the piano and sang together. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Olivia loved singing with her family, but later she couldn't fall asleep. Christmas just wasn't the same without Matilda. In the morning, Olivia's parents called upstairs. Merry Christmas! Christmas! Olivia and Ian yelled as they rushed downstairs. Woohoo! It's Christmas! Ian called. Merry Christmas! They both yelled. Ian and Olivia opened the presents in their stockings. Ian got a puzzle. Did Santa bring everything you wanted, Olivia? Her mother asked. Yes, everything except Matilda, Olivia sighed. This puzzle is hard, but I'm almost done, Ian said. Wait, nobody move. Missing piece, how am I going to finish it? If I were Santa, 
I'd try to return all the lost things to people who lost them, Olivia said. Okay, reindeer, we're off to return lost toys, Olivia cried. She reached into her bag of lost toys and tossed each one down to its owner. Hey, I left this at the beach, said one little girl happily as she caught her lost beach ball. Wow, I never thought I'd see that again, said another as he caught his lost camera. You're back, said a third as he caught his little lost toy alien as it parachuted down. Thank you, Olivia Claus, for giving us back all of our lost toys, they called up to Olivia. Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas to all, Olivia called back down. After Olivia finished imagining herself as Olivia Claus, she had an idea. She found some cardboard. She traced. She colored. She snipped. She wrapped. I hope Ian likes this, she said. She gave it to him. Just a little something I made for you. The last puzzle piece, Ian exclaimed. Thank you, thank you. I wish I could make you a new Matilda, he said. Suddenly, Olivia noticed Penny moving around behind the couch. What's back there, Olivia wondered. And she crawled behind. And... Matilda! Olivia cried. I found the place where all our missing things go. Now this is what I call Christmas. Look, dear, Olivia found my sock, Olivia's father told her mother. And that's not all. Hey, Ian, look, Olivia handed Ian his puzzle piece. Thanks, Ian said and smiled, but I like the one you made me better. That night, Olivia's father told her a bedtime story. And that's why reindeer have tea parties and little girls have antlers, he finished. Are you sure? Olivia asked. Not really, her father said, chuckling. <laughs> I suppose you want another story, he asked. Olivia felt like she already had everything she needed. Nope, I think that's the exact story I want to go to sleep with. She snuggled close to Matilda. All through the house, it was time to say good night. Merry Christmas, Dad. Merry Christmas, Mom, said Olivia. Merry Christmas, sweetie, said Mother. Merry Christmas, Olivia, said Father. Merry Christmas, Ian, Olivia said. Merry Christmas, Olivia, Ian said back. Merry Christmas, William, Olivia said. William giggled. Wait, who's William? <laughs> I uh, hope you liked that story. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Love you guys. Bye-bye.